And there we go. There is 25 million fishing experience worth 250 points. As you can see here, we were able to get up to 94 strength and 87 agility for going to 25 mil. So yeah, pretty nice amount of XP. Now, even though we've hit the 25 mil cap for points, I'm still going to stay here because it's a nice AFK method of getting agility and strength up. So yeah, I'll probably still be here whenever I need to AFK. Or at least this will be one of the tasks that I do whenever I want to AFK. 145,000 XP along with 100 points, and that got us to 78 farming. Wow. Well, okay then. With that task done, we are only 530 points away from completing or from unlocking our last relic, so we will most likely be doing that today. Alright, so I've just been AFKing at the magic trees since I recently got 25 mil fishing and I felt like changing it up a little bit, but basically we got three clues that we can do. I'm going to go ahead and see how many of these we can do, so let's, let's do it. Alright, so luckily we were able to finish the medium casket, so I'm pretty sure there's ranger boots in that one. What? Wow, okay. That is a pretty cool beginner clue step. I think I actually do have a, a rune skim in the bank, unless I alked it. But that is a cool item. Alright, and now ranger boots. No, but that is a unique item from a medium clue worth 50 points. That nice brown headband. Alrighty. That is a task done. Let's go ahead and get another abyssal demon task. Like I said, I am going to keep grinding out those tasks until I get that whip. 89 defense coming in. There's 87 slayer. 90 defense coming in. 93 hit points. Another superior kill. Ooh, a missed battle staff. Okay. That's that's something special, right? That's a task right there. 100 points to wield this thing. Nice. You know, I would say, I hope that's not on the same, like, I hope it's not the same drop chance as an imbued heart. But to be honest, I really have no use for the imbued heart right now. And I don't even think it's a task to use it, so I think this is actually the best drop. 95 strength. Oh, there it is. There's the Abyssal Whip. <laughs> and I just made my video go live right now. I, I, I just uploaded the video right now. Awesome. 250 points. Oh, that's perfect. So we go from 91 slash up to 106. Strength bonus is 95, up from 79. That's awesome. I'm also going to set it to Lash, so that we get shared XP. Attack, strength, and defense are pretty close together, so... Actually, hmm... I'm not sure. Maybe I should get attack up to 95 and defense up to 90, 95 as well. And then we can do shared to train everything at once. Mm. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Oh yeah, I didn't even say how many kills it took. Uh, I think that was kill 252. Oh, we only need 120 points for the next relic. We're so close. I didn't realize how close we were. That's actually crazy. Alright, there's the last kill. Ooh, and of course we get superior slayer monster as our task is already done. Alright, there we go. Oh, we still got Slayer XP. 100 points for defeating 20 superior Slayer creatures. Very nice. That puts us only 20 points away from unlocking the last relic. And there we go. Ancient Wyvern down. Ooh, some super restores. But we got 100 points for that. Now in the very beginning, whenever leagues first started, I was thinking about draining strikes. I was very, very set on picking this, but after some thought, I mean a lot of thought, weapon specialist just seems like the better choice. It seems like I'll have a lot more fun with this, and I'm just thinking about all the possibilities with different spec weapons, like all of the god swords, BGS is going to be so great, 5 specs to lower down defense, it's going to be amazing to have that. And also, if we get an SGS, that's also going to be a lot of healing and a lot of sustain because we get spec 5 times. Also, our spec regenerates a lot faster. Every 30 seconds, we get 30% back instead of the usual 10%, so that's huge. And we also get 10% increased accuracy and increased damage, but that one applies to 
all of them i think also the passive effect is the xp multiplier from 12 to 16 so xp is going to be flying by even faster so let's go ahead and pick weapon specialist our last relic there we go weapon specialist unlocked i feel like we can do a good amount of pvm now now that we have all of our relics and this weapon specialist i really feel like we should do god wars dungeon soon but i did kind of want to get the new helmet i wanted to get the basilisk jaw so i might go back and do that first whoa i forgot the shield so not the best weapon to try out my new uh relic on but hey it works we get five specs now and the spec bar regenerates a lot faster look at how fast that is we're we're already at 60 percent. we can already use this thing three more times that's insanely fast oh i just realized the uh, spec bar regenerates at th it regenerates 30 at once i thought it was just gonna make it faster to where we like got 10 back every few seconds but no it seems like the timer is still the same it just gives you 30 percent back at one time so that's interesting 92 attack coming in 94 hit points coming in there's the rune scimitar i am not gonna high -alk this because i have an ornament kit in the bank and i'm gonna put it on that bad boy and i'm gonna alk my whip because obviously this with the ornament kit on is gonna be a lot better so we won't need this whip anymore 93 attack there we go look at that rune skim oh that was a, that was a task equip an ornament kit nice 100 points i had no idea i honestly did not know that was a task that's awesome well we don't need the whip anymore since we have this so yeah let's go do our task just kidding just kidding 89 slayer 94 attack rolling in 95 hit points coming in i know i said that i wanted to grind out the basilisk task after getting the whip so i can get the upgrade for the helmet but honestly i think if i don't get it in the next 19 kills i might go try out bandos just to see if we can get lucky and get like a bandos uh chest plate or bottom so yeah i might go try that out a little bit i don't know how i'm gonna do i really don't know how it works uh i know that there was like an update to the whole recall system at god wars dungeon but still i have no idea how it works so it'll be interesting to see how far we can get i, I will take either the chest plate or the tacits or even the hilt honestly getting the bgs would be really great especially now that we have weapon specialists but bgs is going to take some time because not only do we need the hilt but we also need to get the god sword shards so yeah i'll be happy with a chest plate or tacits honestly bandos boots not so much because we already have the dragon boots but yeah we'll see 95 attack all right there we go there's our last kill on that task and I knew it. I just knew it. <laughs> I knew that a freaking superior was going to spawn. That happens every time. Every time I finish the task, a superior foe spawns. No. Oh, man. These. I'm so happy I didn't pick the clue relic. I mean, it probably would have helped with completing clues, but honestly, like, it's it's whatever. Another hard, hard clue scroll that we have to drop after four steps. Barrows, yep. Part of me kind of wants to go do a blue dragon task before I go do bandos, just because I realize that I'm actually super close to an upgrade. Uh, the gloves, I've, I've just been using the van braces. I can upgrade to a combat bracelet pretty soon. All I need is 70... 74 for the dragonstone bracelet and 80 for the glory as well. Hmm, I don't think I can get 80 anytime soon, but maybe I can get the 74 out of the way really quickly. So I might go get a blue dragon task just so we can use the blue dehyde to uh, get our crafting up. Or you know what? I could actually just boost it right now if I make a uh, mushroom pie. I think I have one of those Sully step caps. Oh, I have two. Perfect. Yeah, we can use this to make a pie, and that'll give me plus four boost. Yeah, okay, so let's do that instead. All right, there we go. There are the mushroom pies for the plus four crafting boost. Part of me still wants to get crafting up, because if I get it up to 76, 
then I can also make the glory, which is also a huge upgrade for me. So maybe I should still go do the blue dragon task. And there we go. Then we can cast this spell on it. And we have a combat bracelet. Pretty huge upgrade if I do say so myself. So we're going from these van braces that I've been using for quite a while. And there's the combat bracelet. Pretty massive. We get some nice offensive bonuses and some nice defense bonuses. And of course, plus six melee strength, so that's really nice too. There's the Calquat tree. Let's see how much XP we get from this with the new 16 times multiplier. Almost 200,000 XP. Well, okay then. I guess we're going to keep doing these Calquat tree runs. <laughs> So before I go to God Wars, it just occurred to me that I can really benefit from putting a pool in my house for the spec regeneration, so I'm definitely going to do that before we go over there. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> this works out perfectly. This works out perfectly. I was considering doing the hand in the sand quest earlier to get my crafting up for the, uh, the Amulet of Glory, and apparently I can't buy runes from this guy until I do that quest, so I guess we're doing it now. <laughs> Just to show you that I was serious about doing the quest at one point, uh, just like 15 minutes ago, I did make the lantern lens that I needed for the quest. So yeah, I guess let's go do the quest first and then we can try out God Wars. All right, there we go. Quest completed. Didn't take long at all. And that got us up to 73 crafting. I need to build a superior garden though, which is also going to cost a little bit of money. 75k. Let's do it. And then we can go ahead and build the pool over here. Restoration pool. There we go. Every time we drink this, we'll get our spec back. And along with this relic, that means we'll be able to unleash five specs of any weapon that we want. Very handy for uh, God Wars and other places. Honestly, I'm trying to decide if it's even worth it to... Uh, grind out this for the blue dragon hide there's probably a better way to level up my crafting but i don't know i think glass would be a better way but um yeah i'd have to buy a lot of soda ash and then i'd have to get sand so yeah not really sure if i should do that method i mean at least with this i'll also get some defense xp along with some slayer xp so that's not too bad Oh, and prayer XP, since I'm going to be burying all the bones. Normally, I would keep the bones, but that just means I have to teleport out more often. So I'm just going to bury all the bones that I get and just go for a full inventory of blue dehyde. Ooh, a hard clue scroll. Piscatoris fishing colony. Isn't that on Zaya? Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, we can do that one. I was thinking of Piscarilius. And like I said before, there's probably a better way to get my crafting level up, but I'm not completely aware of it. But I think it's part of the fun, you know, just playing the game your own way, figuring things out by yourself. Even if it's not the most efficient, as long as you're having a fun time, that's all that matters. I'm going to use the bone on this altar, see if it works. You fear the wrath of the gods. Okay, my bad. Looks like we're getting 1337 prayer XP drops now from the Dragon Bones. Nice. 90 Slayer coming in. So, I was thinking about a new series that I could possibly do. Maybe even one based around leagues. And I was thinking, why don't I make another leagues account, but I restrict myself? You know, I, I see all these Iron Man accounts restricting themselves in some, you know, some form or fashion and... People really seem to enjoy restricted accounts, and I think I've just thought of the next best thing. A league account with a run turned off the entire time. All I can do is just walk around the entire game. I, I can never turn this on. Even though everybody has unlimited run, I can never turn this on. I have to walk everywhere that I want to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I think if we get like 100,000 likes on this video, then I I'll consider doing it. All right, this should be the last kill. And there we go, task done. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> I was going to grab another task uh, right away, but I think I'm going to go see 
how much XP we get from this, because all the calculations that I was doing was uh, not taking into account equilibrium. So maybe we won't need as many as I think. And also we might have some other methods of training crafting after the blue dehyde. So yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. You know what? I just realized something. I just realized something. Wouldn't it make sense? <laughs> I just realized this after I've made what? 25 blue dehyde bodies? Wouldn't it make sense to make the van braces instead? Since they only use one at a time. And we get the, the thing from equilibrium, the 10% boost for each action. We're much better off making the van braces for a little bit more crafting experience because of equilibrium. Let's go ahead and get one more blue dragon task. And we'll do the exact same thing. We'll make all of the blue dragon leather into uh, fan braces. Yeah. Look at those XP drops. That's ridiculous. <laughs> those XP drops are massive. There we go. Another blue dragon task completed. 75 crafting. Oh, we can now make Saleya rings as well. Oh, but here's the most important part. The magic birdhouses. Yeah, so I don't think this is going to be enough crafting XP. But there may be some other items that I have in the bank to get the last remaining crafting XP. So we'll see. All right, so this is all of the blue dragon hide made into van braces. We are still 43k short, but that's pretty close. I have a couple of uncut gems that I could cut. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but we can find out. Now, after cutting all the gems, we only need 18,000 more. All right, yeah, this will be more than enough. 1300 XP for each ruby necklace made, so perfect. This is one of the fun parts about being an Iron Man, just going through your bank and seeing what kind of items you can scrap together to get some extra, you know, XP for whatever skill you want for just that one item that you need. Like today, I was not expecting to go on this grind for the Dragonstone bracelet, the combat bracelet, and the Amulet of Glory, but here we are. And there we go, 76 crafting. We can make a red dragon head shield, but more importantly, we can boost and make the Amulet of Glory. There we go. And the, oh, craft a Dragonstone Amulet. That was worth 100 points. Yet another task that I was not aware of. Amulet of Glory created. Oh man, that is so, that is a huge upgrade. I've been using this holy symbol for the longest time. It is so nice to, ha to finally have a glory. So, plus two defense and plus eight prayer from the holy symbol. The glory gives us plus ten in all offensive bonuses. Three in all defense. Six melee strength. We do take a hit to prayer, but I mean, these bonuses right here, I think, outweigh it. And we also get teleports to certain areas that were kind of a pain to get to before. So, yes, I'm very happy. I think this is the first time that I've actually made a glory myself. Like, in the main game, you just, you take this for granted. It's a very cheap item that you can just buy on the Grand Exchange. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a journey to make one yourself. So, yeah, this is a lot more fulfilling and satisfying. Very nice. All right, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and AFK here. Currently at 25.6 mil fishing XP. And we're also 87 agility and 95 strength. So we'll see if we gain any levels while I'm AFKing. All right, so I'm pretty much done with AFKing for right now. We did manage to get a strength level and an agility level. And we're pretty close to another agility level. So yeah, next time we come here, we will most likely get 89. We also got a medium clue scroll. Let's see if we can do it. North Witchhaven. I think that's close to Artie. Alright, here we go. This should be the casket. Yep. Alright. I, I smell ranger boots. I really do. And if I don't get ranger boots, then the goblin dies. Well, I got a page. The page is kind of cool, but it's not ranger boots, so sorry. All right, and let's take a look to see how much Hunter XP we get from the magic birdhouses. 18k, okay, I'll, I'll be honest, I was expecting a little bit more than that. 
We were getting 16k with the U birdhouses, but that's fine. Oh, so I just realized something. Uh, I still have kill count from Sarah Doman. 59. That is... Wow, okay, so I wasn't aware of the changes that were made to the, the God Wars dungeon. It looks like we don't have to get KC ever again. Because I haven't been here, like... In a while, it's, it's been it's been a while since I've been here. Whenever I was going for the dragon boot grind. Okay, so we should be able to turn this on. Okay. I didn't even pot up. Okay, this is really really bad. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm not even ready yet. I was unprepared. I was panicking with the minions outside. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is really not good. Oh no. A snapdragon seed, get me out of here. <laughs> I didn't even pick it up, that's fine. I just didn't want to die. Well, there is a There's a there's a task done. And alright, so if we use this crystal, does it take us back to the area? It does. It takes us right outside. Okay, that's great. Wait, why why am I being a oh I just realized something. I'm wearing a monk's robe for Sarah Do I need a bando item. That's why they were attacking me. Wait, what? That's so weird, though. I felt like whenever I was getting kill count, I wasn't getting attacked by the bandos minions. Like, not even the higher level ones. I don't even know if it's worth walking under him now that I have the fast attack speed. Alright, there we go. Our second kill done. Three grimy snapdragons. Okay, so not, not not the best, but, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, so I feel like the early stages is where draining strikes would have helped out. But I feel like once we get, like, a BGS or something, like, like a decent spec weapon, I feel like that's when the weapon specialist will, like, really shine through. A room plate body. All right. <laughs> already have that. Already wearing it. Did I just poke a 30? Oh, please don't make me teleport out. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh man, I, I guess I should learn how to flick, huh? Okay. There we go, another kill. There it is! Oh, Bando's hilt! Okay! I'll take that, I will take that. Okay. At kill count 13, Bando's hilt, nice. <laughs> that looks so good! Oh man, I'm oh man, I'm, I'm I'm very excited. Truthfully, I think a chest plate or tacits would have helped out early on because I still need to get three more pieces before I can actually use this. But I feel like this is one of those items that you just you, you just go dry on, you know? So it's it's good to have it secured. It, it's it's good to have it right there. Oh man, that, that that that's so beautiful. That's so cool. I think that's a perfect place to end it because Man, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I want to say that I'm getting tired, but part of me kind of wants to stay up, but part of me probably should call it right there. Um, yeah, this is, this is just crazy. This is going to be so much fun. I think, I think I can finally say that I can finally play the game. <laughs> I can finally play the game. Um, from here on out, it's just going to be pretty much just having fun, just going for PVM stuff because... As far as points go, like I said, I'm not really interested in ranks, to be honest. Like, getting dragon rank, I, I never, you know, I never even thought about getting that because it's just, there's there's no way that I can devote that much time to play the game and, and grind that out. Uh, even the rune cup may be out of reach, but, you know, if I get it, that'd be cool because that's what I got last time. But yeah, so now that I have all the relics and all the areas, I don't really, it, it's just all going to be about PVM now, just about having fun, going for drops and just enjoying the game mode. Yeah, you can pretty much already tell that rank doesn't really mean that much to me just because of all the tasks that I completed in this video that I wasn't even aware were tasks. I'm not even going for tasks anymore. Like, to me, there's really no reason. We have all the areas, all the relics. Now we can just have fun and get some gear upgrades. So, yeah. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video. And if you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like and maybe even a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.